Hello friends, so let us discuss the first problem from the latest code forces on 750. The problem name is Luntic and Consort. So the problem goes like this, that Luntic has decided to try singing different songs and he has composed let's say A 1 minute song, B 2 minute songs and C 3 minute songs. Cool. Now you want to distribute all of these songs into two concerts. Okay. And now like every song should belong to only one concert. You cannot like uh, take any song and belong to two concert. Cool. And you have to distribute these songs into two concerts such that the absolute difference between the total sum at the, the like at both of these concerts should be as minimum as possible. So what like what in simple terms it means that if you have like some songs you are distributing such that the total value should be like close to each other. The total summation of the total song value on both the concerts. Cool. That's the whole problem. Uh, what you can observe from the inputs is that answer is generally zero and one. Uh, can you find out some other answer like any other value? Also, what you can say here is that A and B and C should be equal to one. Like it cannot happen that any song is zero. It means that uh, like A minute song should be like greater than or equal to one and so for like two minute song and three minute songs. Okay. You cannot say that uh, two minute song is only there. There is no one minute song or three minute song. That is not also possible. So these are the two observations you have to see. Now, if you want to make the two concerts, you just try to put songs in both the concerts. You want to make the two concerts value as close as possible. Uh, what you can see here is that if you just take out the total duration of songs you have, if it is even, you can e like evenly divide it on both the halves. If it is odd, then obviously there is one extra minute that is remaining, and the absolute difference will be uh, like uh, the absolute difference will be will be like one because there is one extra minute on like e on either of the concert, and that is the whole logic for this problem. Now, how can you come up with a solution? What you can observe here is that okay. Like there are some one minute songs, two minute songs and three minute songs. Okay. Now if there are some two minute songs, like if there are two two minute songs, then you can easily like put on both the sides. Okay. Then there are again two minute, two minute, two more songs. So you can easily put there one side. Now if there is two minute songs, only one two minute song, you can put it here. But now there is no cash to like uh, to balance it out. But there are some one minute songs also. So you can like match this with one minute song. And what is the absolute difference you can get? Like two minus one, that is one. So if they are evenly balanced out, okay, then the difference will be close to one. So as you can see, there is some three minute song. So if I put some three minute song here, so three and three and one and some two minute song here. So they will also balance out. So because you can greedily put both the songs on both the concert so that either they will like match out if the total sum is even or else like, like they have a difference of one. That's the whole logic. It's not too difficult to understand. Also, it's a A problem, so it will not have too much complexity. So uh, let's go down to the code part now. What you can see directly here is that I have just calculated the total sum. So what I've done here is that uh, there are some A songs. So A is just one minute songs, then two into B because uh, B songs are two minutes long and C is a three minute songs. Then if they are equal to like if they are odd, then the answer is one. If they're even, the answer is zero. Because if they're even, you can evenly, like, evenly distribute between the two concerts, else the answer is one. That's the whole logic and uh, like the logic and the code part for this problem. What you can see here is that the time complexity turns out to be like O of 1 because you're just directly calculating space complexity is also O of 1. Cool. So if you still have any doubts, you can mention down. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next one. Like coding and bye.